student so this is a class of accountancy and we are, we are going through the chapter accounting ratio so there is a urpita is there sourodeep is there okay now in the last class that is yesterday i have already discussed about turnover ratio and there is a certain turnover ratio some of the turnover ratio i have discussed that is fixed asset turnover ratio working capital turnover ratio stock turnover ratio this three ratio i have already discussed now today i will discuss about another turnover ratio that is trade receivable turnover ratio trade receivable turnover ratio now what is the trade receivable turnover ratio that is trade receivable do you know what is trade receivable sourodeep said that what is trade receivable what is trade receivable write in your chat box what is trade receivable yes bill receivable and debtor so rodi is typing okay bill receivable and debtor that is called trade receivable okay so whenever any credit sale uh, so in trade receivable debtor who is debtor debtor means you have made the credit sale now whenever you made the cash sale the debtor is not actually in your accounts so there who is debtor whom you actually made the credit sale and whom you actually <coughs> issue the actually bill receivable that is bill of exchange there is a bill receivable is there whom that is also the whom you actually sell in credit but they are not so there is a debtor also there is a bill receivable also so why there is a uh, debtor and there is a bill receivable what is the need to issue a bill receivable now what happened actually if i say that there is a total credit sell actually made by you that is in the month of april rupees 50000 so what will be the journal entry now debtors account debit to sell account that is 50000 and 50000 now some of the debtors is not very reliable okay you may not collect the cash or check whatever in time because they are suppose data has taken take for two year uh, two months credit period after two months they actually say they are actually paying back to you whatever the amount of sale okay but some of the data you see uh, from your past experience you have seen the some of the data though they are said that we will pay back you in the time not paid it back so that's case you are using bill receivable a bills you have issued that is called vr and that time you actually made a journal that is bill receivable account debit to debtors that is from debtors you think that 20000 debtors value will not receive in time so you issue the bill so that you just you just receive your payment in time so you can see this is 50000 is total of debtors there is 20000 bill receivable then whenever you posting in balance sheet what do you actually write you write the debtors rupees 30000 and 
bill receivable is 20,000. So, bill receivable is also the part of the debtors. Okay, that is credit sale. So, that way total receivable consisted of two things that is one is debtors and one is bill receivable. Now, both are from there you will just understand that both are related to not in cash sale but they are related to credit sale. So, what will be the formula? Now, credit sale is the formula. Credit sale. Now, credit sale you have to use net credit sale. And what will be the denominator? Denominator is average trade receivable. Average trade receivable. Average state receivable. Now, you will say what is average state receivable? Average mean if there is a two figures, minimum two figures is needed to average average state receivable. How you calculate? Now, debtors plus beer. Debtors plus beer. Now, you can average it. No, because two are different things, different name is there. The same things, if the, that comes two times, then you also you need to average. So, there is no average is needed. If there is only debtors and beer is given to your question. Now, sometimes that happens, there is a opening debtor plus closing debtor. So now you can average it by 2 plus there is opening beer plus closing beer that you also average by 2. Now in the rule of LCM you can common it and we can do the opening data plus closing data plus opening bills receivable plus closing bills receivable now we can common LCM is 2 so we can divide it like that also ok now sometimes it is also happen that the board is uh, where should I write just look here or rubbing it now that is something happen that opening debtors is there opening debtors plus closing debtors that you can divide it by 2 plus there is a BR so that that is only one beer is there so you have you need need not you don't make this also divided by two because this is a single beer and that you just average it and plus bill receivable then that figure should come to this formula that is average trade receivable so these are the some thing sometime you mistake in your examination that's why i am showing these things now second trade payables another turnover ratio is trade payable trade payable turnover ratio now here this is just the opposite same thing just opposite it trade receivable there is a net credit sale trade payables is related to purchase that is creditors ok so net credit purchase will be the numerator credit purchase net net credit purchase by average trade payable average trade payable clearly visible sir it is clearly visible means it is a uh, you are actually 
seeing the board clearly now this is the same the opposite side of the coin that is net credit purchase by average trade payable now what is average trade payable you know there is a creditor plus bills payable also now sometimes we are not very uh, trustful to the supplier then supplier issue uh, us to the bill and we have to pay that so this is our bills payable okay that's time so they are the creditor okay so creditor and bills payable that's consist of ab trade payables and what is the average formula the same formula that is your opening creditors closing creditor plus opening bills payable closing bills payable divided by 2 why this is 2 not 4 that i have already seen you there is a another turnover issue that is net asset turnover issue it is not clearly visible what be the is said that it, yes this is clearly visible but Sourodip is writing that it is not clearly visible why not this is I am just taking the board in the same position that you should see it very well so there is a no chance you cannot see it now net asset turnover is you know what is net asset turnover is net assets turnover ratio is there now what is the formula of net asset turnover ratio so net asset means that is the capital employed okay now net uh, turnover means that is sales so what is net asset turnover ratio that is revenue from operation means sales revenue revenue from operation means sales that is net sales divided by or that is numerator uh, sorry denominator is what will be the denominator that is net asset net asset means capital employed ok the same meaning capital employed net asset means capital employed and I have already discussed how you reveal the capital employed of any company so revenue from operation by capital employed is the formula net asset turnover ratio this is not very important but other ratio is very important in case of turnover ratio now this is the end of the ratio which I have already told you that there is a fourth type of ratio one is liquidity ratio one is second is solvency ratio third is profitability ratio and fourth is turnover or activity ratio now we will do a practical example we will take a practical example and through that we will learn how this ratio you can reveal now from your ncrt book question number 12 of your exercise of accounting ratio chapter the question number 12 ok compute gross profit ratio working capital turnover ratio debit eh, sorry debt equity ratio and proprietary ratio from the following information so <coughs> here you can see there is a paid up share capital that is rupees 5 lakh current asset that is 4 lakh revenue from operation rupees 10 lakh 13% debentures is there that is 2 lakh and current liabilities is there that is 2 lakh 80,000 and cost of revenue from operation that is rupees 6 lakh now we have to reveal out what is the cost profit ratio working capital turnover ratio and what is actually the proprietary ratio now one by one we'll do that first there is a cost profit ratio have you find in your book you just you just keep your book with you the NCRT book
now gauss profit ratio how will reveal now what is gauss profit ratio formula gauss profit ratio now gauss profit ratio means gauss profit by net sales into 100 now you have to there is no gauss profit is given but there is revenue from operation is given there is cost of revenue from operation is given cost of revenue from operation means that is cost of goods sold so revenue from operation means that is sales okay so gauss profit equal to gauss profit equal to revenue from operation revenue from operation minus cost of goods sold that is cost of revenue from operation so what is revenue from operation that is sales is rupees 10 lakh rupees 10 lakh is there minus rupees what is cost of revenue from operation that is 6 lakh we just put the value now that's cost of it will come that is 4 lakh now what is ratio gp ratio shortly i am writing but in your examination you should write in the full form that is gauss profit is rupees 4 lakh i am now using the rupees that is 4 lakh divided by 10 lakh that is net sale or called revenue from operation into 100 that is rupees 40 percent okay that is rupees 40 percent have you understood have you understood how i am reveal the gross profit okay now second is in your working capital ratio second is working capital ratio now working capital ratio working capital ratio working capital ratio there is working capital ratio what is the formula of working capital ratio what is the formula of working capital ratio we have just done this that is net sales divided by working capital into 100 oh, 100 is not needed now this is not 100 actually net sale by working capital this is the formula working capital ratio net sales by working capital now what is working capital i have already discussed what is working capital that is current asset minus current liability here what is current asset current asset already given that is 4 lakh in your question and current liability also given that is 2 lakh 80 thousand 2 lakh 80 thousand now what is working capital that is 1 lakh 20 thousand that is 1 lakh 20 thousand now net sales means revenue from operation that is only given now you can easily calculate what your capital ratio 
that is net cell is 10 lakh is what is the 10 lakh okay net cell is 10 lakh and working capital is 1 lakh 20 thousand that is what is the thing 3 4 1 2 3 4 so 100 by 12 now 8.33 times 8.33 times that is not in 100 that is reveal in times working capital ratio so that is 8.33 times of the sales what is the working capital you are posing in your organization that is 8.33 times of the sales okay now turn working capital turnover ratio actually this is working capital ratio means working capital turnover ratio so they are using 8.33 times according to sales so next is debt equity ratio debt equity ratio is very important that is comes under solvency ratio debt equity ratio now how you will come out debt equity ratio now debt equity ratio what is the formula debt equity is very easy that is debt by equity debt equity ratio means that is debt by equity the relationship between debt and equity now here you can say what is debt there is only one debt is here there that is 13 percent debentures okay that is 2 lakh so debt is rupees 2 lakh and what is equity equity means shareholder funds that you have already learned what is equity what is shareholder fund what is equity funds what is capital employed that all i have discussed in your previous classes now what is equity equity means there is paid up share capital only so there is no reserve and surplus uh, is there so there is no preference share capital is also not in here so that is only rupees 5 lakh that is share capital it's only equity in here now that is 2 by 5 now what is the come that is 0 0.4 0 0.4 is to 1 so that is the ratio is coming out as a debt equity ratio now now there is a proprietary ratio that ratio is very important as per your examination point of view proprietary ratio proprietary means proprietor who is the owner proprietary ratio proprietary ratio what is the formula proprietary ratio what is the formula so do do you know what is the formula proprietary ratio now shareholder funds proprietary ratio mine means shareholders fund by total asset total asset now you say what is total asset in this but in this uh, problem there is no total asset is given so how you reveal the total asset what is the total asset how can you reveal that we know that total asset equal to total liabilities that is balance sheet we have seen that is total asset equal total liabilities equal to total asset or total asset equal to total liabilities now here you can find the liability liability what is total liabilities there that is paid up share capital paid up share capital what next is there that is 13 percent debentures is there that is 13 percent debentures what next is there that is current liability 
current liability now what is the total paid up share capital there is a 5 lakh plus 13 percent debenture that is 2 lakh then there is a current liability also that is 2 lakh 80 thousand that consists of total liability so 9 lakh 80 thousand rupees 9 lakh 80 thousand is your total liability and that's equal to total asset that's is equal to total asset that's is equal to total asset now what is shareholder funds in here shareholder funds that is only one item is there that is paid up share capital rupees 5 lakh so what will be just put the value in the ratio that is rupees 5 lakh by total asset rupees 9 lakh 80 thousand 9 lakh 80 thousand now what will be the that is 25 is to 49 25 is to 49 that is 0 0.51 is to 1 0 0.51 is to 1 that's the way you have to select and you have to this is very conceptual actually you should know don't be you should try to remember through concept does not recapitulate the thing okay so i think that's all for today is if there any problem you can ask me the question is there any problem have you understood or be the saurodeep okay no problem okay very good so this is the end of the class so next class is BST, just you just continue the class for next after 5 or 10 minutes that will be start. So stay there. Thank you.